But we begin with a controversial cartoon published in a school newspaper. Some La Jolla High School students calling it racist, others saying it's just a joke. Our 10 News reporter Jennifer Dela Cruz is live. And Jen, whether this was meant to be a joke or not, a lot of people are calling it offensive. Yeah, Steve, there are several groups on campus that are very upset about it. The cartoon was published in this school newspaper about two weeks ago. Some people say it was a funny joke and freedom of speech. Others are calling it extremely hurtful. For the first time tonight, the school district admits it was an error in judgment. On page 12 of the High Tide newspaper, you'll find political cartoons. For some, this most recent one wasn't so funny. It shows people of different ethnicities wearing hoodies with racial, ethnic, and religious stereotypes. In the cartoon, there was all different races. There was Muslim, there was African American. 10 News chose to blur out the offensive phrases. Sophomore Ryan Phillips says he's a direct target, but he doesn't mind. There was a ginger one and a Jewish one. I happened to be both, and I thought it was kind of funny. In small writing at the bottom, it says H&M, making a jab at a recent ad showing a young boy wearing a sweatshirt with a racial slur. A recording star has now cut ties with H&M over a controversial clothing ad. Grammy winner The Weeknd responded by tweeting, woke up this morning shocked and embarrassed by this photo. I'm deeply offended and will not be working with H&M anymore. If he maybe put an article about the H&M thing, I think it would have been much better understood. But even others who do get the reference say it's just fueling the fire. It's kind of encouraging, you know, like the racial profiling and stereotypes that like govern our society these days. And I don't think it should have been, you know, approved. The school's Mecha group that promotes cultural inclusion posted these photos on Instagram. The cartoon plastered all over a so-called freedom of speech wall where kids are allowed to express themselves. And a lot of kids were writing, you know, really racist stuff as like a joke. And I think that really brought out like the worst of, in our student body. A joke for some, hurtful for others. A fine line in between the printed black and white. So even though the cartoon is published two weeks ago, the school just sent out letters to parents today saying that publishing the cartoon was an error in judgment. They say they want to keep an open conversation about this topic moving forward in a responsible way. Reporting live in La Jolla, Jennifer Dela Cruz, 10 News.